Hey traders, I get a lot of questions about how to do market replay playback properly so that you can practice and not just trade in sim but trade in multiple different markets checking and, and uh, trying your strategies out over and over again in different time frames and at different times of the day. So let's give you a little quick rundown the best way to download your data, set your charts up so that you can trade in replay and perfect your strategy execution. First thing we want to do is let's open up a workspace. We can use a blank chart just the way we have here or we're going to show you an actual workspace as well with a strategy chart. But the first thing we'll do once you open up NinjaTrader is in order to play, uh, do market replay, we have to download data. So we need to connect to a live feed. In this case, I'm gonna connect to one of my funded um, accounts and that's gonna be Apex. Now we're connected to Apex so we can download real data from their server. We'll go to tools, historical data, and the window will open up and now you can download any instrument you like. There are two kinds of data, historical and market replay. Market replay is more accurate. It's the one that I always use. The easiest way to download is to go right to the bottom where it says get market replay data. Click on it. Choose your instrument. You can pick any instrument you want You'll have drop downs here. The easiest way to do this is let's download uh, some NQ data is just type NQ and then click on it and it will give you the most recent month. That's going to be um, the next uh, expiration is March of 24. And now you're going to download it day by day. So let's say uh, last week was a pretty slow week, but we'll start at the beginning. Christmas Day, there was no trading. So let's click the 26th. Hit download, and there's the data coming in. It's that fast. Next, let's pick another day right after. Download again, and there we go. Next, let's download some gold futures. Type in GC for gold. Double click on gold futures. You can do the micro if you want also. That's going to be the next expiration or the next uh, um, expiry month. And then let's do those same two days. We'll download the 26th first and then download the 27th. And then finally we'll do oil. Same thing, expires 224, and we'll take those last two days. And the 27th. Perfect, now let's see what we have. Obviously, I've downloaded a lot of data previously. I use replay all the time. But uh, for example, here is the oil futures that we just downloaded. And there are the two days. It gave us the entire 24 hour period. So you can see the data is in our Ninja Trader ready to go. Click on close this window. Now let's go ahead and cancel or disconnect our live feed. And then we're going to go to the playback feed. Hit continue because we've already downloaded the data. And then we get our little playback player. Let's bring it right down. And there we go. Okay. Works just like a DVD player or, a, uh, or any kind of a real-time player. It's going to automatically populate with a couple of weeks with data that you have but uh, for example if I didn't have any other data here we could start right at the period that we downloaded remember we started with the 26th and we'll go ahead and make sure we're using the market replay that's the data that we downloaded click on play once until it moves to that day give it a chance to load okay now we're right at the very beginning 12 a.m. On 1226, as you can see it over here as well, and that's where we started to download. Now we can go to any time that we want to start. Right click, right over the uh, little playback window, and hit go to, and let's start in the morning at, let's say, 8.30, 9.30, and we'll get close to market open time. Start at 9.25, click OK, and it'll pull, pull us right to that spot. 
give it a second to move forward and now we're right here so let's take a look at the chart now as you can see it pulled us right to 925 we're on a one minute chart in the NQ and as soon as we hit play we've got real-time data coming in if we opened up our one sec if we opened up our chart trader you can see the data should be coming in and there's our ask and bid data right on the side now you can go ahead and load whatever indicators you want and you can um, uh, test any strategies out that you want but here's a great feature when we start our playback we started in real time one times the market we can double the speed we can move it up 10 times the speed so we're going up 10, 10 seconds for every second and that way we can run through the time very quickly move ahead move back whatever you'd like to do if we go super fast it's going to jump ahead minutes at a time that's the open which sometimes we want to move ahead so that we can get past the open and trade and then we'll come back down and now let's show you how this looks on a regular chart so let's go ahead and cancel our connection and then we'll go ahead and reconnect we already downloaded the data so we'll hit continue and then let's let it go ahead and populate so we've already started at the time um, same time period as before the 26th now let's move to the open as well just like we did before and what I'd like to show you is not only does this give you real-time data to trade with it's going to give you your market analyzer data as well which is important for me I like to see what the volume looks like last price in this case with this strategy I'm looking for the smart stochastics overbought oversold status you can see right down here it will replay everything that your indicators show you so let's go ahead and start that up and we're we're real time and as you can see we get all of the indicator action in real time just as we would and all of the deep the data in the market analyzer so there you have it it's that easy practice and try using this get familiar with it get comfortable with it i promise you this will take your trading to new and more profitable levels that's it traders see you next time